Kenya's new kiss. Okay, so R. Kelly is yet again dating somebody way many years younger than him. He's currently hooked up with a 19-year-old girl. Now she, now he is actually 49, so that is a pretty, pretty much a 30-year difference between the two of them. Now the fact that he's had so many such relationships with minors um, during the span of like a decade should pretty much show us that maybe dating people so much younger or older than you is never really for long-term periods. Now one of the reasons I think this is because clearly we are in different phases of life. A 19-year-old is pretty much just starting off adulthood. A 50-year-old is on his way to retirement. So what exactly are we sitting around talking about? You know, are we talking about the retirement home you're going to be going to? Are we talking about the university that you're going to be joining? It's just such a strange concept of dating people all these years older than you. Now, if it was, if it was my, you know, personal take, I think the oldest people should date um, if they think it's going to be a long-term relationship. It's maybe Maybe 10 to 15 year difference. I think in that time, in that age bracket, you might have, you most probably have more things in common to relate to as you, you know, get on with your, with your relationship. But 30 years? Jeez, R. Kelly, what are we going for?